coming up this week on Big Sky Outdoors. Combining backpacking, fly fishing, and paddleboarding this week on Big Sky Outdoors. Big Sky Outdoors, powered by Town Pump, fueling your next outdoor adventure, is also brought to you by Counter Assault, your ultimate protection in the wild, by Montana Army Navy, get it, get out, and live it, by Pierce RV Supercenter, Montana's premier RV dealer, and by Don K Subaru, locally owned, community involved. Welcome to this week's edition of Big Sky Outdoors. I'm Matt Redding. Hey, today we're at this beautiful subalpine lake, and we thought it'd be fun to combine three of our favorite activities, backpacking, paddleboarding, and fly fishing. This will be good gear-wise. Um, I'll grab some more paddles, and then we can finish up up there. My name is Sonny. I own Paddlefish Sports in Whitefish, Montana. I've owned the business for three years. The guys and I, uh, we departed the shop at about 1.30. Uh, we packed up all of our gear. We drove to a spot up in uh, the North Fork area. Yeah, and I think my pack's just about heavy enough. It's slow. Make your... It doesn't get bad till about the mile and three quarter. Then it starts to get steep. So you're telling me this isn't steep? We had a, a two mile hike up and our packs were pretty beefy. Uh, we had all of our gear, our um, paddle boards, our paddles, our pumps, um, clothing, food, um, some coffee. Kind of a hairy hike, all uphill, a little bit of sweat, a little bit of tears. It made for a pretty heavy workout. We were all a little tired by the time we got here. Longer. The nights are getting it was uh, it was enjoyable to land at camp actually. The whistle of the air pumps, the sweet sound of we're here. So I am the owner of Paddlefish Sports in Whitefish, Montana. We offer ACA instruction, yoga classes, some tours. It's been growing over the last three years. The popularity of the sports increased dramatically. Anyone can do it, especially if you start them off with the right equipment. Any age group, any ability level. I've worked with people as old as 83 years old and then kids as young as two years old. It allows family groups to enjoy time together, whereas a lot of sports in the mountains, there's a little bit of a separation, what you can do with your whole family. Paddleboarding is just kind of exceptional in that fact because once you turn somebody onto it, they start to realize it doesn't take any special talents. It takes some equipment and then some knowledge from somebody that's educated, and then they're able to do it, and they're able to do it well. The paddle is a big kickstand. So as soon as you start to work with people and they realize that they're holding a paddle that they can brace themselves with and actually move around and paddle on the water, they start to familiarize themselves really quick. I oftentimes compare it to riding a bicycle. The bicycle doesn't feel very stable once it's just standing still, but once it's in motion, that stability becomes really apparent. And then it, it allows that person to actually connect with the water. Um, and then that's usually what puts the smile on their face, is they did it. They did something new in their life. And then it opens up a whole new realm for them. Hey, we're just getting things started today out here on this beautiful lake. Let's take a quick break and check out this week's outdoor quiz question. Stop. 
stand-up paddleboarding has become extremely popular over the past few years, but it is by no means a new sport. Paddleboarding in one form or another has been around for hundreds of years. So that brings us to this week's outdoor quiz question. Where was the modern stand-up paddleboard created? If you know the answer, find Big Sky Outdoors on Facebook or at www.bigskyoutdoorsshow.com. Click on our outdoor quiz link, give us the correct answer, and you'll be entered to win a canister of bear spray from our friends at Counter Assault, your ultimate protection in the wild. Big Sky Outdoors will be right back after these messages. Counter Assault, the original bear deterrent has been made, developed, and scientifically tested in Montana for nearly 30 years. Counter Assault is what I chose for my staff based on my personal experience, scientific testing, and it's the only one that met all the expert recommendations. Spray time and spray distance are important in a bear attack, and Counter Assault has both. As an avid hiker, hunter, and outdoorsman, Counter Assault is my first line of defense in bear country. Carry what the professionals carry. Counter Assault. Grizzly Tough Bear Spray. Look for the red can. The warm weather in Montana has arrived, and your local town pump has everything your family needs, along with great savings. This month's specials include Doritos or Dips are just $3.29 each, General Mill Cereal, two for $5, and David Seeds, just $0.99. Cents. With over 90 convenient locations across Montana, we are sure to have everything you need and more. He needs to catch a big fish. I met Sonny uh, a few years back uh, when he started the uh, paddleboard shop. I've been paddling for a few years and I was looking for uh, the local shop to uh, find out where to paddle and to find a good crew of people to paddle with and Sonny fit the bill. Uh, had great gear, uh, super good aloha and uh, was just a fun person to paddle with. And recently uh, we've um, decided to uh, start building boards here in Montana. Uh, part of uh, uh, the venture that we're doing is uh, not only to create a uh, livable wage jobs here in Montana, but also to uh, give back to the community. And uh, one of the uh, organizations um, that I feel strongly with, just because it has affected my family, um, is First Descents. I found him first to sense after my aunt was diagnosed with cancer, and that diagnosis had a pretty profound effect on our family and me personally. We pulled off the first program, 15 young adults, one week in Vail, Colorado in 2001. And this year, we've added surfing, we've added rock climbing, we've added mountaineering. Uh, we're in 15 different states and six countries, serving about 600 young adults per year. For me and my own personal struggles with things, I it, it, it gave, me my, it gave me my mojo back, I guess. We've come to know that these programs really do work on a variety of levels. Uh, and so not only are they uh, just an amazing week to sort of reclaim your life and get living beyond your disease, but I also think that they're uh, literally therapeutic uh, in what they offer the young adults who attend them. Um, Raphael and I think he had gotten word of First Ascent through the folks at Paddlefish. He was kind of thinking of starting this new paddleboard company. I think the goal was really to make an affordable, um, inflatable stand up paddleboard. And so he kind of got together with those guys to not only help from a product development standpoint, um, but I think they brought up First Ascent and we all kind of got talking and it seemed like something that was really a mission that was near and dear to everybody's hearts on their end. I actually, you know, know so much about that industry and I think they really got together and made a lot of decisions about um, the pieces and the fabric and the weight and all of that um, going into the development to really make a lightweight, inflatable pinup paddleboard that you could deflate quickly, you could inflate quickly, and you could throw in your backpack and take to some great kind of backcountry locations. We kind of have a small run of, I think, 15 boards at this point that are that are First Descent branded that we'll sell, um, and then we will get a portion of the proceeds from those sales. 
We're absolutely thrilled with the final product, um, and we're going to get a portion of proceeds. So it's a win-win all around for sure. It started like a sweet tooth. Hey, we've been catching a few nice fish this morning out here on this lake. Nothing real big yet, but it's still nice to be out on the water. Let's take a quick break, but first let's check out this week's fishing report. The 2014 Subaru Outback from Don K Subaru is an IIHS top safety pick and gets 30 MPG. And just listen to what our customers are saying. This was the best, most enjoyable experience I've ever had in buying a car, Sarah F. We have nearly 50 Outbacks in stock starting as low as $23,495. Come experience it for yourself. Don K Whitefish, locally owned, community involved. Counter Assault, the original bear deterrent, has been made, developed, and scientifically tested in Montana for nearly 30 years. Counter Assault is what I chose for my staff based on my personal experience, scientific testing, and it's the only one that met all the expert recommendations. Spray time and spray distance are important in a bear attack, and Counter Assault has both. As an avid hiker, hunter, and outdoorsman, Counter Assault is my first line of defense in bear country. Carry what the professionals carry. Counter Assault. Grizzly Tough Bear Spray. Look for the red can. The warm weather in Montana has arrived, and your local town pump has everything your family needs, along with great savings. This month's specials include Doritos Ore Dips are just $3.29 each, General Mill Cereal, two for $5, and David Seeds, just 99 cents. With over 90 convenient locations across Montana, we are sure to have everything you need and more. So inflatable paddle boards, um, which have been developing over the last three years, the quality has gone completely, um, completely up. We prototyped some this last fall and started to put them into production this year. And the opportunities they open up for people is immense. People with us with less storage space than, than needed for a, a hardboard, a small car, backpacking them in, traveling on an airplane with your inflatable, it just, it allows people in special situations to partake in the sport of paddleboarding and getting places that you normally couldn't get a paddleboard into now are all open. For a young tree planting with love from a martyr. The ideas of packing them in on a horse train, packing them in on our back, it just opens up a whole new world of opportunities for us. It's just a matter of giving that knowledge to people what we can do with these things. It can save people tons of money on their vacation. It just adapts to other people's lifestyle where they don't think they have enough storage space in their garage. They're not strong enough to lift the board on top of their car. An inflatable paddle board, you can inflate in about five minutes, deflate it in about two and a half minutes, and there it is. It's back in the trunk of your car. Nothing special required. Just a little bit of effort pumping it up and you're good to go. Whoa, oh. So fly fishing, specifically on paddle boards, is super rewarding. It allows people to get on the water and have a completely different point of view. 
um, you're standing versus being in a pack raft or in a belly boat. So not only do you see a different angle into the water and what the structure is, you're able to cast fluently. Your back cast can be nice and long and fluid. Your posture is so much more relaxed because you're standing up. Um, I think it's really going to turn a lot of fly fishermen on to buying paddle boards. Being able to get places that they were never able to get to before. When you're standing on the shore trying to fly fish, your back cast really becomes a problem. You can only reach certain levels of the water and you just don't get to see the structure. But once you're engaged on the water on a paddleboard, all of a sudden you start to realize what the whole lake is. You can look down in the lake, you can see the vegetation, you can see the structure, and allowing you to actually have a nice fluid cast is really, really a benefit. I found personally that it makes your cast better because you're not trying to overcast. Because you're maintaining your balance, your casts are more gentle and controlled, which lends itself to a better cast and a better fisherman. Late at night, young Martin Pass in the shadow on a piece of the pie. Oh. Hey, we're gonna take a quick break from the fishing and paddle boarding, but first let's check out this week's outdoor gear guide. Hi, I'm Bailey from Montana Army Navy with this week's Outdoor Gear Guide, and today we're talking about rain jackets. So right here we have a really popular option made by Marmot. The precip jacket has been around for a long time. It's very breathable, it's lightweight, it's packable, and the nice thing about this jacket is it's got pit zips to keep you cool if you're doing any strenuous activities. Hey, another great option is a jacket made by Red Ledge. It's also very packable and lightweight, and one of the nice things about this jacket is, it, is it's got a taped zippers to keep some of that extra water out. So if you guys have any further questions, feel free to come visit us at Army Navy in Whitefish or Kalispell, or visit us online at MontanaArmyNavy.com. Army Navy is your hunting headquarters. It's the best place around when you're serious about saving money on the things you need to go hunting. Knife sharpeners, wool gloves, backpacking meals, optics, socks, boots, insoles, stoves. Why, it's a virtual hunter's checklist. All name brands and all at fantastic savings. On Highway 2 in Evergreen and Highway 93 in Whitefish. MontanaArmyNavy.com Looking for a new RV? Look no further than Pierce RV Supercenter, Montana's premier RV dealer. Come and shop the huge selection of fifth wheels, motorhomes, toy haulers, travel trailers, and even RV rentals. Plus, don't miss the fully stocked parts and accessory department. Pierce RV Supercenter has an RV that's right for any size family at prices that will fit any budget. Pierce RV Supercenter, located in Billings, Great Falls, and Kalispell. Come see us today or visit us online at PierceRV.com. Welcome back to Big Sky Outdoors. Hey, if this beautiful lake and this gorgeous weather we're having here is enough reason to get outside and enjoy Montana's beautiful outdoors, here's what's coming up in this week's outdoor calendar. It's finally here and it's a rite of passage. Coming up on Saturday, August 23rd is the fourth annual Bose Monster Challenge. The event promises to be the dirtiest, nastiest, best day of your life. It's 3.1 miles of mud, sweat, and obstacles. Go to bosemonster.com for all the details and to register. Come celebrate a way of life and end us over Labor Day weekend. On Friday, August 29th and Saturday the 30th is the annual Ennis on the Madison Fly Fishing Festival. Enjoy exhibits, food, and music to help support the Madison River Foundation. Go to MadisonRiverFoundation.org for more information. If you love fly fishing and the Madison, don't miss it. Coming up on Saturday, August 23rd is your chance to ride along the Gallatin, Jefferson, and Madison rivers of Southwest Montana. Ride a full metric or one third century. SAG support plus lunch, snacks, and a pre and post ride food included. Go to GallatinValleyBicycleClub.org for more information and registration. It's all about the kiddos. Coming up on Friday, August 22nd and Saturday the 23rd is the Kids Adventure Games in Big Sky. It's a fun and confidence-building outdoor experience for kids ages 6 to 14. Obstacles may include a ropes course, zip line, climbing walls, mud pit, and slip and slides. Go to kidsadventuregames.com for more details and to register. If you have an event that you would like to post on Big Sky Outdoors, 
go to our Facebook page or www.bigskyoutdoorshow.com. Give us all the details of your outdoor event, and we'll post it here on Big Sky Outdoors. I think the future of the sport is really going to turn into expeditions, um, camping, overnighters, and it's just to get people informed that it's just not um, a coastal or lake thing, that you can take these things everywhere and adapt them to your lifestyle. Um, I'm looking forward to doing a couple hunting trips this fall on these paddle boards, just to open up new worlds of opportunity. Hey, next time you're outside enjoying Montana's beautiful outdoors, make sure you take your camera along, take a few pictures, send them to us here at Big Sky Outdoors, and you'll be entered to win in our weekly Photo of the Week contest. Now let's turn the time over to you, the viewer, for this week's Photo of the Week. Let's kick off today's Photo of the Week contest with this one from Jared Ross. This was a photo taken in the early hours of a spring morning at Lake McDonald in Glacier National Park. The water was like glass that morning, and he was able to enjoy some early morning silence before the busy season kicked off in Glacier. Check out this next photo set in by Oren Whitehall. While backpacking along the Rocky Mountain front earlier this summer, Oren and his friends enjoyed several high alpine meadows filled with wildflowers, crystal clear water, mountain goats, and some great fishing in the lower creeks and rivers. Thanks to Heat for making us green with envy. Kevin Patrick snapped this shot during an early summer hike in the Lee Metcalf wilderness. There was still enough snow for a bit of boot skiing and glissading. He and his brother were able to camp at one of the small alpine tarns in the high basin and escape from time itself. Wrapped in the warmth of a glimmering sun, this trip was a favorite among many of the trips shared this summer by these brothers. This epic photo of the Sawtooth Mountains in Idaho was shot by Angela Nielsen. She spent a long weekend hiking and backpacking in this rugged range. Crazy good views, sore muscles, fresh air, and clean water. What more would you want? We are surrounded by states with stunning views and great adventures. Thanks for sharing your adventure with us, Angela. Our winning photo this week is by Taylor Scott, who sent in this photo from an alpine summit in the beautiful Madison Range in southwest Montana. This challenging hike was well worth it as Taylor was rewarded with some priceless moments of rest, surrounded by incredible views. Great shot, Taylor. Congrats on being our winner for our photo of the week. Remember to submit your pictures along with a brief explanation of your latest outdoor adventures on our Facebook page, Big Sky Outdoors, or on our website, BigSkyOutdoorShow.com. The winner this week wins the Optimus Crux Light Solo Cook System from our friends at Montana Army, Navy, and Kalispell and Whitefish. Get it, get out, and live it. Being able to be engaged on the water in a backcountry scenario away from people um, with the sounds of a waterfall in the background, you know, picas in the rock field, it's pretty exceptional. You don't hear any crowd, it's just you in the water. Um, it definitely touches your soul. It's um, something that everybody should be able to enjoy at least once in their life because I guarantee if you do it once, you're gonna wanna do it over and over and over again. And there are so many bodies of water just like this that people have not gone to yet. So essentially, you can be the first to do this in your area. It's just a matter of putting it on your back and hiking it up and then being able to wear that smile that comes along with it. Your skin. Oh. Thanks for joining us this week on Big Sky Outdoors. Hey, if you're in the market for a new paddleboard, or if you've never tried paddleboarding and want to rent one for a day, swing in and see Sonny at Paddlefish in downtown Whitefish. He'll give you all the information you need to go out and have a great day. Hey, thanks again for joining us this week on Big Sky Outdoors. Join us next time as we explore more wild places and more wild things in this great state of ours. We'll see you then.